In this video, I'd like to talk about a new style of playing the alt harp based on the new configuration of the chord buttons and the actual dampening pattern on the chord bars, which I invented at the end of last year, December 2016. And so, with this new style of playing and this new configuration of the chord buttons, I am able to play all the 12 major keys and all the 12 minor keys of the chromatic scale. So that's why I'm calling it the, the all keys or to harp style of playing. So as regards this the style of playing and this new configuration of the chord buttons, it was only invented last year and I converted the actual auto harp only at the start of this year and back then I wasn't sure how viable it would be in terms of playability. So I've been experimenting around and playing and practicing these months and now I'm at a stage where I do feel confident that it is a good idea to convert one's auto harp to this new configuration of chord buttons and that is why I'm making this video and this first in a series of videos regarding this style of playing and this configuration of chord button. So when I say the all keys auto harp, as I as I mentioned just now, it can play the all, tw all the 12 major and minor keys in a chromatic scale. As well as that, it can play all the 12 diminished thirds, all the 12 augmented thirds, and all the 12 dominant sevenths. So I'll just show that now. So this is the key of C major. This is the key of C sharp major. D major. E flat major. E major, F major, F sharp major, G major, A flat major, A major, B flat major, and B major. So those are the 12 major keys, and to play the, the minor, we press similar buttons. So this is A minor, this is B flat minor, this is B minor, this is C minor, and this is C sharp minor, and this is D minor. And this is E flat minor, and this is E minor, and this is F minor, and this is F sharp minor, and this is G minor, and this is A flat minor. So those are the 12 minor keys of the chromatic scale, and as well as that, it can play the, the 12 diminished third chords. So this is the chord of A minor, diminished third. That is the, the same chord as the diminished third of C minor, and that of F sharp minor, and that of E flat minor as well. So as well as that, you can also play the, the chord of the minor diminished third. So that is the same sound as the, the chord of F diminished third minor, and A flat diminished third minor, and B diminished third minor. And as well as that, it can play the diminished third of E minor, which is this chord here. That's the same sound as the chord of G diminished third minor and B flat diminished third minor and C sharp diminished third minor. So those are the 12 diminished thirds. So as well as that, it can also play the, the 12 dominant sevenths chord. So this is the dominant seventh of C. The C sharp dominant seventh. The D dominant 
the E flat dominant seventh, the E dominant seventh, the F dominant seventh, the F sharp dominant seventh, the G dominant seventh, the A flat dominant seventh, the A dominant seventh, the B flat dominant seventh, and the B dominant seventh. So those are the 12 dominant seventh chords, and finally, as well as that, it can also play the 12 major third augmented triads. So here we have the augmented triad of C major. And although written down differently on paper, that is the same chord sound as the augmented third chord of E major and A flat major. And this is the augmented third chord of C sharp major. Which is the same sound as the augmented major third of F major and A major. And this is the augmented third of D major. Which is the same sound as the augmented third chord of F sharp major and B flat major. And this is the augmented third chord of E flat major. And that is the same sound as the augmented third of G major and B major. So what I'll do in another video is that I will provide a full walkthrough of converting the actual chord bars and the chord buttons to this all keys configuration of the chord buttons and the chord bars. For this video, I'll just introduce the actual configuration of the chord buttons themselves. So this is a normal 21 button Oscar Schmidt auto harp. And so these are the actual buttons here. And as you can tell, um, there are two missing buttons here. So that indicates that um, we don't need the full 21 buttons in order to produce all these 60 different harmonies. We just need 19 of them. And of these 19 buttons, they are divided into three groups. So at the bottom four here, we have the buttons for the augmented third. And then we have the three buttons for the diminished thirds which is this one, this one, and this one. And in order to produce the dominant sevenths and the major and the minor chords, we have these 12 buttons in between here. So to produce the actual chord of C major, the major chord, then we need to press three buttons. Similarly, for the minor chord, for the dominant seventh, we just press two buttons. And for the diminished third, we just press one button. And for the augmented third, we have to press three buttons. So with all these new possibilities in terms of harmony, I do feel that, um, that as regards the auto harp as an instrument, it can be used to play classical music. And so that is the main the message of this video and th this series of videos, um, that the auto harp can be used um, in the style to play classical music. So I'll just give an example of that by playing a short piece of music which I have composed for myself.
So just advise that as regards that music, um, that music was original, and as regards this video and all the music in the videos in this channel, they are all in the public domain for the purpose of promoting this style of playing the auto harp. So that was just a brief introduction to this all keys auto harp style of playing. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you do have any feedback or comments, do leave them down below. And in the meantime, until the next time, have a nice day.